Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So everybody keeps asking about how I broke the mirror on the 220. Honestly, I have no idea how it got broke. Um, we're pretty sure it got broke going down the road on the trailer. Uh, so the last person that hauled this hoe before it got broken was actually Tyler. So I suppose we could blame it on Tyler, but I'm not going to blame it on anybody because this stuff happens. So. For $64, I got a replacement OEM Hyundai mirror. So we're going to go ahead and get it changed real quick. No, I was not hanging out with Captain Kleeman, and that's how the mirror got broke. It got definitely broke going down the road because I reviewed all the videos, and uh, it was broke when I unloaded it at the lake house that I tore down. So no big deal cheap fix here we make a quick video of changing it because it's been such a popular topic in the comments pretty simple change it just sits on this peg right here or mirror bracket so this happens quite often on like our haul truck we'll forget to fold them in and haul it down the road and tree limbs will smack it um, there's a lot of overhanging tree limbs on some of these back roads and uh, they just hit them. And it really don't take much for them to hit them at 40 miles an hour and, and break them. I mean, they're, they're fragile, I guess. Or what happens like on the 200, the other excavator, my other 40,000 pound excavator, is the brush mower gets them. Uh, stuff will fly from the brush mower and hit them and, and break them. So pretty simple. Uh, change here. Oh, you can put it either way if you wanted to. And yeah, we'll put it back the way it belongs. Put it about right there. I'll adjust it later. I should probably just take these mirrors off and throw them in the shop, being as we're in the brush and stuff, but I've been awfully darn careful not to break them. I haven't broke any of the rest of them. A couple of them I leave folded around so they can't get hit with anything. Some of these you don't really need them because you have a backup camera, but it is nice once in a while out of habit you glance up and look in the mirror and see where you're going. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how you actually put these in transport mode. So when you're going down the road. So you should flip them like that for transport. That way they can't get hit by any tree limbs or anything like this one. You can actually flip this one all the way around if you wanted to. But I'll leave it like that because we're getting the two excavators ready and the feller buncher ready because the next job we're going to, we need all three. And uh, we figured we'd take some time today and clean cabs out, clean windows up and grease everything so we're ready to go. Uh, next project is we've got uh, oh about a mile of ditch to debrush and uh, got a little bit of ditch bank to drag down and things so that'll be an exciting video so anyways I figured I'd do a little video on how that got broke because everybody's asking in the comments and it was pretty popular so that's the story behind the mirror so now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna title this video the story of the mirror or mirror mirror on my hoe how did you get broke so something like that I, I'm not very good at poetry or rhymes or anything like that so I'll stick to running heavy equipment instead of writing storybooks and rhymes and poetry so anyways thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next one Scooter, you got any tips and tricks on pressure washing? No, you just wash. You just wing wash? It. Just wing it? Yeah. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Gold hose dirty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's a good bath. It helps to have hot water. I didn't turn the hot water on. Oh, you didn't turn the hot water on? No, uh, I figured I was just doing the windows. Oh, okay. Scooter fell left out, so I figured we'd get a little footage of Scooter doing a little washing. So. I gotta get these covers put back on the uh, track motors here, and then this excavator is ready to go. 
I do have seal kits. I got to get these uh, boom cylinders resealed. So that's a whole nother project. Right, Scooter? Whole nother project? It's a whole nother project, right? Yes. Yeah, always whole nother. Always is. There's always something to do around here.